Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, Monochromatic Mom. I wanted to do a quick um, packing video of my Miss Fong bag that I got from Amazon. This bag um, retails I think for about $45.99 on Amazon. It is prime so you can get it within two days. I purchased this because I didn't want to spend the money on the Fawn design bag but I loved the structure. Um, I just seem to switch out my diaper bags way too frequently to spend that kind of money on a bag. And if you do like my videos that you're subscribing to my channel, I plan on putting out a lot more content coming up here soon. Um, I have a collab with May Designs. I have a collab with Itsy Ritzy. I'm hoping to do a giveaway, so make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you have that little notification bell turned on and that you are liking my videos if you'd like to see more videos like this. So let's go ahead and get into the unpacking of this bag. I'll start with the outside pockets first. I've already showed you guys the structure. I'm going to link the video up here, whichever corner it might be, um, of me doing the unboxing of this video so you can see it empty. Um, but we'll start with the outside pockets and then work our way inside. So starting with this side pocket here, I do have these stroller straps always clipped onto the bag. I just find it the easiest. Um, in this pocket here, I carry my Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. And then I also carry a little wallet that I have from um, Target, just right in there. That has cards that I don't get to too frequently. Moving over to the other side of the bag, the other stroller clip is here. I also put a clip on here for my keys. I find it easiest to just clip them on on the outside. That way when um, I need them, I can just grab them. In here I put a bottle. It obviously doesn't have the top on it, but this is a Dr. Brown's bottle. It fits perfectly in this um, pocket here. I also grabbed a Tommy Tippy sippy cup for you guys to show you that that fits in there. That doesn't have the handles on it. Um, but it fits in there really, really nicely. You could also have it kind of popped out if you wanted to. So those go in that side pocket perfectly. Moving to the front pocket here on this zip pocket, I just have a Carmex. I normally carry, oh, I guess there's a sample in there. I normally carry my iPhone 7 in here. This is just the case because I'm using it to film, but um, that gives you an idea that it fits in that pocket perfectly. I also have my May Designs Folio in here. I use this as my wallet, but um, inside my May Designs Folio, it's basically used as a wallet. So I have my cards in here. I have my 2018 planner in here. I use this for lists like to-do lists and um, a bunch of other different lists in there. This is for my um, job as a teacher at PureR, so I use notes. Um, I take notes in there. And then this is a little coloring book for my son Duke. So this has everything that I need right in this little folio. It's genuine leather. I plan on doing a video here shortly just explaining this folio for you, some of the May Designs books that they have. I've been using May Designs for years. I absolutely love them. So be on the lookout for that video coming up soon, but that fits in that pocket perfectly. And then I have some receipts and another sample. So that's on the outside pocket here. I put this little tassel on here myself. It matched perfectly. I had it from another um, bag. So this is the inside of the bag. On the very, very top of the bag, I just have some water wipes. The next item that I have is a Milk Snob 4-in-1 cover, car seat cover, um, which I don't use for a car seat any longer, but stroller cover, um, high chair cover when we're out and about, so I use this a lot. Next in the bag, it's just laying on the top of the bag, is my Gather change mat. If you aren't familiar with Gather, I definitely suggest checking them out. It's a large change mat. It's leather. Um, you can wipe it down. I absolutely love the feel of it. It's so soft. It folds up really tiny. So this is my Gather change mat. Next inside the bag, you'll see that I have a Swell bottle. So this is the Wide Mouth brand new Swell bottle. This is the 16 ounce in the silver or whatever color it is, but that fits in there really, really nicely. Then next I have a Zoli snack tower, formula dispenser and snack tower. So um, this also just stands up in there really nice. Put some snacks in there, formula, whatever we might need. My son is almost 12 months old, so we're not really carrying that much formula. In there I still have um, diapers and two pouches. So I have a couple 
um, size three diapers in there. Those are just easy to grab. And then I also have this little pouch from Target. And this just has some first aid needs, some boogie wipes, some butt paste, thermometer, sunscreen stick, band-aids, whatever I might need that I've literally never had to get into, but mom life stresses me out. And then the next um, pouch that I have in here is a Bagu pouch. It's really quite large. Um, this is everything that I need when we're going to a restaurant to eat. So this has a um, little like silicone placemat. I just got this off of Amazon. It has a spoon. Then I have a, pou a food pouch, the Happy Top Fiber and Protein pouch. And then I have a Jujube um, Black Magic little bib, wipeable bib. So that's everything that I have. That's everything that I honestly have in the bag here. The last thing is this key leash. Um, it doesn't have like a clip or anything. So I actually just attach my munchkin um, diaper bags in there because they always seem to find their way at the very bottom. So this way I can easily grab them. So that's everything that's inside the Miss Fong, Fawn, Fong design bag. Oh, actually, there's one zipper pouch here in the very front that I have for mommy needs. So I have things like pens, a million lip glosses and lipsticks, Listerine, floss, lotion. That all fits in there with plenty of room. So as you guys can see, I have plenty of room left in this bag. It's an awesome bag. I absolutely have been loving it. I feel like it's a really great quality for the price. Um, I'm not sad about the, the money that I spent on it. I'm glad that I only spent $45 on it versus $200 for the Fawn design. It's holding up well. I really have packed it quite full. Um, this is like my everyday necessities, but I've thrown toys in there, um, you know, full water bottles, full, um, full bottles for my son. So it, it fits really, really great. I'm loving it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the bag, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything that I pack, I'll try to link as much as I can below. Um, and then, like I said, be on the lookout for the May Designs video up next. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.